All right, question three. Okay, in thermal expansion, a rectangular hole of sides 10 cm by 8 cm is cut in a copper plate which has a coefficient of linear expansion of 18 exponent negative 6 per Kelvin. Find the fractional change in area of the hole when the temperature of the copper sheet is reduced by 60 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now, uh, the hole. Okay, so this is about area expansion. Okay, area expansion. So, first of all, we identify what information given to us. We have the rectangular hole. Okay, it's uh, something like, you know, uh, we have a copper, sh copper sheet. Is it a copper? Uh, yeah, a copper sheet with, uh, you know, this shape. Uh, then you cut a hole, rectangular hole there. Uh, and then you heat up. You heat up the copper. No, you reduce by 60 degrees Celsius. That means you, you lower the temperature. You lower the temperature. Uh, of course, um, this, this hole will, uh, will get, because you lower the temperature, the area will shrink, uh, will become smaller. Okay, so we are talking about the area changes here. Yeah, uh, when you lowering down the temp the temperature, so what happened to the change in area? Okay, so first of all, what information given to us? We have the rectangular hole sides, uh, ten cm by eight cm. That means, uh, this is the length length by width. Uh, we can find the initial area. Okay, so first of all, we have the length and width here. So this one, we can get the initial area. Initial area, length times width, uh, which is 10 cm times 8 cm. So we get 8, 80 cm square. Uh, but this one is in cm. Cm, you need to change to meter. All right, you need to change to meter. SI unit. So centi is uh, negative 2, uh, negative 2 under the power of 2, so become negative 4. Uh, negative 4, yeah? Be careful, huh? Centi is negative 2, but power of 2 become negative 4. So this is the initial area. We already have the A0. Okay. And then he says that uh, this copper has the coefficient of linear expansion. Okay, this one is linear expansion, alpha. Uh, this one is not beta, this one is alpha. But now we are talking about the change of area. Change of area, uh, we are not using the linear. Uh, for area, we are going to use the beta. Uh, beta yeah? uh, this one is linear for length. So we must find the beta. Okay? So alpha is 18 uh, exponent negative 6. Already? 18 exponent negative 6. We already have the alpha, so we can find the beta. Beta is 2 times alpha. Uh, you must find the beta. Beta is 2 times alpha. So 2 multiplied by alpha, 18 exponent, uh, negative 6. So we will get beta equal to uh, 3.6 exponent, uh, negative 5 per Kelvin. Okay, so we already got the beta. Beta for area changes. Uh, coefficient of area expansion beta. Now we want to find the fractional change in area. Okay, so what is actually the question once? What is actually fractional change in area? Fractional, yeah, fraction. The word fraction means the uh, it is a, a fraction. You know, a fraction. So fraction change in area. Okay, maybe I should drop this all. Okay. Fractional change in area means uh, he wants the uh, this one. Okay, Ch fractional change in area that means change in area. Change in area is delta a, but fractional change in area means it's a fraction. Uh, that means this change in area divided by the initial area. Ah, this is the one. Fractional change in area. So change in area is delta a. Fractional change in area is 
delta A over A naught. Uh, in fraction, yeah, in fraction. That means how much the change in area uh, over the initial area. Uh, yeah. So this is the fractional change in area, delta A over A naught. Okay, when the temperature of the copper sheet is reduced by 60 degrees Celsius. So this one is uh, talking about the uh, changes of temperature. The temperature is re decreasing by 60. So this is the uh, this is the delta T. Uh, yeah, this one is the 60 degrees Celsius is the delta T. Okay, so these are the information we have. We already have the initial area length times width and we got this and we already have the beta yeah beta is two times alpha because it gives us the linear only so we must multiply two to get the coefficient coefficient of area expansion which is beta we already got the beta and uh, we already got the change in temperature so the change in temperature is negative 60 ah you must put because he the word uh, the word reduce here if you uh, be careful yeah, it says that reduce the changes is decreasing, not increasing. The 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 change the temperature is decreasing. So the change in temperature must um sorry, the change in temperature is negative sixty, not positive sixty. Okay, the negative means decrease or reduce. The changes is decreasing. Uh, so you must put a negative sign there. If you don't put the negative sign, then you are wrong. Okay. So we already got the delta t. Uh, next is we find the fractional change in area. Okay, fraction, uh, fractional change in area involve the delta a. So that means we use the formula delta a equal to beta because it's about area. So we use beta a naught delta t. Okay, and we have a uh, a naught here. A naught. So just transfer. Yeah, just go to the other side. Transfer this below the delta A, and then we get delta A over A naught. Uh, this is what we want. Okay, uh, this is what we want. Delta A over A naught. This is the this delta A over A naught is the fractional change in area. Uh, okay, which is equal to beta delta T. So we got the answer. Uh, beta is uh, three point six uh, negative five. And then delta T is nah, the negative sign because you say the temperature is decreasing, not increasing. So the temperature decreased, uh, negative 60. Okay, uh, the change in temperature we use degree Celsius. Never mind, yeah, because change in temperature accept both units, degree Celsius or Kelvin. So this one, degree Celsius, uh, the change in temperature, degree Celsius, no need to change to Kelvin. Okay, no need to change to Kelvin. Uh, so maintain at degree Celsius. So, uh, so what do we get? Yeah. So after multiply, we will get the answer. Uh, yeah. Uh, also negative. Okay. Uh, that uh negative uh two point one six uh exponent negative three. Uh yeah. And this fractional change in area uh, has no unit. Okay. It has no it has no unit. Uh, it has no unit. Uh, why no unit? Because um, you know, uh, meet uh, a change of area is meter square. A initial area also meter square. Meter square divided by meter square. No unit. Uh, yeah. Uh, same thing also like the. Yeah, yeah. That's it lah. Yeah. Uh, so you see this. Um, uh. uh Fractional change in area is negative. What is it? Negative means. What is the negative here means? What does it mean by this negative sign? Uh, this negative means the change in area is decreasing. Uh, that means the area ultimately the area is uh, decreasing uh, when you lower down the temperature. Yeah, when you call it, yeah, you cool, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you call, yeah, you lower down the temperature, the area will decreasing, uh, or it will shrinking. Yeah, the area is shrinking. Uh, so the negative signs means 
uh, the, when the change in area when the change in area is negative means the area is decreasing or shrinking in size uh, or become smaller that means if the initial area uh, this is the sorry this is the a naught uh, so uh, the red one is the uh, final area the initial area is bigger but the final area becomes smaller why smaller because the delta a is negative uh, delta a negative means the area decreasing yeah uh, because you're lowering lowering down the temperature so if you lower down the temperature the area shrink uh, but if you heat it up if you heat it up when the change of temperature is positive the area will expand that's how is it yeah you lower down the temperature it shrink you heat it up you will expand okay so that's it for the change in area okay this is fractional change in area delta a over a naught okay hope you understand about this concept Okay, see you in the next video.